Hi, I'm Corgan Nehrlich, a Solutions Engineer at HashiCorp, and I'm here today to talk to you about why enterprises turn to HashiCorp's Terraform Enterprise to help solve cloud compliance and management challenges. We typically decompose this into multiple components, uh, but to start with, let's talk about modules. So as we already know, the traditional adoption pathway when it comes to Terraform is starting with monolithic configuration files and then looking to modularize where possible, creating reusable templates for your organization. This is very effective, but can oftentimes become quite challenging from both a discoverability and a consumption perspective. So your users face a new challenge, which is how do I find these modules and how do I consume them? So within Terraform Enterprise, I'm here to talk about the private module registry. So the private module registry is a centralized module catalog where you can publish all of your organization's modules in a highly discoverable way. So as an example, one of your users, one of your developers or code consumers can come into your own module registry, at a glance, understand exactly which modules exist, what those modules do, and then ultimately how to consume them. And I'll walk you through what that looks like. So here's an example, you see a private module registry. In my case, I only have a few modules, each of which represents a different set of configuration files that a potential consumer of this code can incorporate into their project. Drilling deeper into this, as an example, I have this full stack multi-region module. So as a user looking to understand what exists, they can easily come in, have a quick understanding of exactly what this module does, what those potential required or optional inputs may be, any available outputs that they can consume uh, in other modules, as an example, any dependencies or resources that are get getting created. All in one single place, they can come and find exactly what they need. Now, once they've discovered exactly what they need, the next challenge becomes consumption. So what we've seen across organizations is not every user or consumer has the same level of familiarity when it comes to Terraform. What you ultimately want to move away from is a steep learning curve when it comes to users utilizing this very powerful tool. And so within the UI, what we provide is a very effective turnkey way of doing this. So we've created what we call the design configuration tool. And ultimately what this is, is an ability for users to not only discover what modules exist that your organization has created, but now select them from right here within the GUI itself, and even customize them so that they can walk through this workflow, provide whatever required information, just as a few sample values may be, and after they've finished this configuration, what they'll receive is a pre-formatted block of Terraform code, which they can now go use within their project. And so without really having to know where these things live or what ultimately is happening under the scenes in terms of the Terraform code and the underlying configurations, they've just very quickly been able to select what they need and now they can go build the infrastructure without facing this bottleneck when it comes to providing a ticket, say, to a team that ultimately acts as the gatekeeper to deploying infrastructure for your team. And this is tremendously powerful in terms of enablement, agility, efficiency, and also security. As you now know that by virtue of adopting and using your modules that your team has created, which have best practice baked into them, they're not doing anything that they shouldn't be doing or that they don't necessarily fully understand because they can leverage these pre-created templates that your team has produced for them. And so what does this mean in terms of consumption? So now you have a developer who has discovered which modules they need, they've selected those modules, they've configured those modules, and now they have a set of Terraform code that they can go use to deploy this set of infrastructure. So just to quickly draw a distinction here between historically what they may have faced versus this new paradigm, this is an example of underlying Terraform configuration files which as you can see, might be many different files. These files might define thousands of resources, and that can be very difficult for new users or even experienced users to understand and incorporate into their project. So the next step here is let's let them consume this module configuration that they have defined. So as an example, rather than having all of this code defined in their project, they can simply take that piece of code that was produced through the design configuration tool right here, place it in a repository, and this block of code right here that you can see will now go deploy a very large set of infrastructure in a very little amount of time. So this user without having, again, to be 
uh, be intimately familiar with the underpinnings can now go leverage these tools that your team has created for them. And so the way that this works within the enterprise solution uh, is within workspaces. So workspaces ultimately represent that unit of management where you can manage and control access to a given configuration along with the corresponding state and all of the variables and credentials that are needed to go deploy that infrastructure. So just to quickly orient you here, here is an example of a Terraform Enterprise organization with several workspaces already configured. In this instance, I'm going to just show you a quick example of how this works. So now, as a theoretical developer who needs to go deploy a full hashi stack, vault, console, nomad clusters, they can select that module your team has created, customize it using variables, plug it into version control, which they then connect directly to their own workspace. And now, they can just as easily queue a run here from within the GUI. So if they're not comfortable using the CLI or the API, they can actually do it right here from within the Terraform Enterprise GUI. And so now, as you can see, in a very turnkey fashion, this user has been able to discover best practice modules, configure them, and now consume them all within this control plane in the workspace. So now, the next challenge becomes, we've given great power to these individuals. We've now enabled them to start using these tools and discovering and consuming our code. How do we make sure that we do this securely? And with that, we'll discuss the next feature and the next solution within the enterprise suite, which is Sentinel, our policy as code tool for automated guardrails and enforcement. <laughs>